Dr. Malik, Intensive Care Specialist and Anesthetist. See, I want to talk about an important complication of smoking. Smoking is any time, anybody, for anybody, any time, smoking is the most dangerous habit. The rest of the habits are different, smoking is different. Smoking is the most dangerous habit. See, for the last three, four days, we have done three amputations of hand, leg. One person we had to remove the foot. One person we had to remove the total half of the leg below the knee joint and the other person we had to remove the hand, this part. The only th reason is smoking. Main reason is only smoking because they were smokers for years together. They were smokers for years together and the blood supply, this is called TAO, thromboangiitis obitrans, also called Berger's disease. Berger's disease, thromboangiitis obliterans. What happens is in the blood vessels, in the, see, this is the blood vessel, this is the blood vessel. In the blood vessels, they, there are plaques formed because of smoking. Of course, this is because of triglycerides, cholesterol, and some blood vessels and, and blood, blood products, sorry, blood cells, blood cells. Some blood cells, cholesterol, triglycerides, they all form the plaques in the blood vessels. The blood vessels which are growing to the brain, the blood vessels which are going to the legs. The blood vessels which are going, that these are arteries from the heart. From the heart, from the, these are the arteries, arteries which are coming from the heart, giving blood supply to the legs, hands, etc. Total body and neck, neck and heart also. There are three blood vessels which go to the heart. Uh, that is called right coronary, left coronary and circumflex. Three blood vessels from the aorta, they, they supply the heart. All the blood vessels in the body will have these plaques. Atheromas, they are called, this plague is called atheroma and it is made up of triglycerides, cholesterol and some blood cells. So they block, they are blocking the blood supply, they are blocking, the blood is supposed to flow like this, they are blocking the blood supply and slowly, slowly, slowly the blood supply will come down to the legs, a lower part of the legs, foot and hands. The blood supply is slowly coming down, blood supply is slowly coming down and ultimately there is no blood supply to the hands or up to this part or foot or knee joint, there is no blood supply at all. It becomes dry and gangrenous, dry and gangrenous. If, if diabetes is also there, there to the smokers, then the situation will be much, much worse because in, in smoking, in this disease, in, in thromboangiitis obliterans, TEO, Burger's disease, only it becomes dry. The pots become dry, there is no blood supply, sometimes the fingers drop out like worn out leaves and uh, otherwise we have to do amputation. The pain will be severe, the pain will be severe. For example, the patient is walking, he can't walk for more than 10 steps and after some days, he can't walk two steps also. And after some time, there will be rest pain, the rest, rest pain. Even at rest, we are giving rest, you are sleeping. Also, the pain continues, horrible pain, horrible pain. So for that, we'll do some surgeries called sympathectomy, etc, etc, spine surgery. So the thing is, pain is horrible, pain is horrible once the the patient will have pain at rest also. He has severe hands pain, severe leg pain. While walking, he used to have pain. After 10 uh, feet walking, after 10 steps, he used to have pain. He used to sit. Now he has pain even at rest. The patient is lying down, he has severe pain. Even sitting, he has got severe pain in the legs. Then we do some surgeries called sympathectomy, etc, etc, spine surgeries, forget about it. But I am more worried about amputations because the blood supply is not there to the hands. We may have to do amputation of the hand or we may have to do mainly, mainly legs. Hands are little uh, less, but because hands have got good blood supply, but the legs are the most vulnerable things. They We, we, we did foot amputation to one person and up to knee joint amputation to one person so this is very very dangerous particularly see and and particularly the heart is also involved any time the patient can develop heart attacks any time the patient can develop heart attacks and cva particularly cerebrovascular accidents because the blood vessels which are going to the brain are also blocked so one more thing is if the patient is having diabetes the other complication is only smoking causes dryness only dry it is if the foot is the foot or the hands are not having blood supply but they are dry dry gangrene we call it dry gangrene they are uh, the, they are not 
they are pain and uh, there is no blood supply to the legs but only thing is they are not having any smell or any infection now diabetes is added to the patient now it is called cellulitis rotten smell comes from the patient and lot of infection in these parts where where there is no blood supply and the treatment becomes more and more dangerous and we have to do amputations even the patient doesn't feel comfortable very sick patient will be very sick and the attendants will come to the hospital request us to take out the limbs take out the limbs of father or mother whatever who is involved so please don't land in this condition smoking is the worst complication any